I am happy to say that this episode is sponsored by a company called Olo Rama, based out of Spain. Now, I've worked with other scent manufacturers in the past. I'm always glad to experience something new. This technology that's on the cusp of something bigger that's not currently integrated into VR as we know it, but we know it's on the way. And these guys are working hard to pull it off. Compared to other devices I've used in the past, there are a handful of things that make this uniquely special. But up front, this is not something that's meant for the average user. This is an enterprise system. And while those of you with VR parks and modern cinemas and you want to expand upon the experience, this is for you. But if you're an average VR user, this is a glimpse of what's to come. I'm sure of it. Thank you again to Olorama for sponsoring this. You guys are watching Bringhurst VR. So one of these units can house up to 10 separate scents, and it's quick, it outputs on the fly. Compared to other devices that I've used in the past, there are some significant differences here. And the one that's going to be the most obvious, just right off the bat, is the integrated fan. It's this industrial grade device to disperse and carry within, I think, 15 square meters, which is 45 square feet, I believe. And so whereas previously with other devices that didn't get the smell quite right, that couldn't disperse it properly, and that just weren't designed for large scale use, this fixes it. Now, the idea here is if you have a VR park, if you have a cinema, a movie theater, if you have a museum, if you operate a facility where you need to manage training and simulations, if a firefighter has to get out of a burning building, whether you're using VR or not, this is meant to enhance that experience. I had the opportunity to use this in several different circumstances, but to begin, just flat screen, watching movies like James Cameron's Avatar, Alice in Wonderland, and even taking those experiences and bringing them into a VR cinema, it also works. Watching something like Ratatouille, which is almost intensely designed for something like this, it really brings to the front how accurate these scents are. In previous models, not related to Olorama, I've used smell-o-vision devices before, and without the fan, without the ability to spread the scent properly, just the scents on their own were underwhelming. Something like gunpowder, never smelled like gunpowder. Rain didn't quite smell like rain. But in something like Ratatouille, when he's digging through the garbage and he, he, he comes upon a block of cheese and strawberries and, and how combining the two creates this new smell, this new taste. Even when the movie begins and it's, it's raining outside, we're panning in on the house. As soon as the movie kicks off, I can hear faintly the fan kick on. And from six feet away in the middle of my room, I can smell that ozone and it's right on point. I have a highly developed sense of taste and smell. Flour, eggs, sugar, mm, vanilla bean. Oh, small twist of lemon. Oh, you can smell all that? You have a gift. Gusto was right. Oh, mm, yeah. Oh, amazing. Each flavor was totally unique. But maybe it's easy targeting something like cheese and bread. I haven't found anyone else who could do it properly, but giving them the benefit of the doubt, they put me in this breakfast experience where I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking upon plates of food. And you look at something and you click it and it picks up an apple and you take a bite and the smell is apple it's unmistakable moving from that we come up on a plate of, of bread and cheese sausage and eggs i was skeptical I, I don't try to simulate the smell of sausage you're not gonna pull it off but no it smelled like fennel seed and black pepper it was perfect <laughs> And even after that, my daughter comes downstairs and asks me if I'm making shish kebabs because she can smell sausage and steak. And when I told her, that's not what this is, it's this Olorama device, she looked like she thought I was lying. She thought that I was maybe making <laughs> some shish kebabs and I was keeping it for myself. And so my channel's focused on VR, that's what I do. And in VR, I found it very cool, very impressive. It's a glimpse at, at what we could have in small form down the line. But right now, this is meant to be used in 
I think mostly a VR park where you're simulating a battlefield and there's 15 guys with 15 different headsets, balconies and stairs. And there's so much going on in this room that you need one of these in every corner. And so when there's an explosion and you hear something over here, you get the smell of gunpowder. Or if it starts to rain and there's thunder overhead, the entire room gets the smell of ozone. If you manage a museum, I expect that as you make your way from the room featuring the Neanderthals, you might want the smell of a fire pit. But more than that, if I'm picturing an applicable large scale purpose for this, I'm picturing cinemas, I'm picturing theaters. For a big blockbuster coming out, as, as I saw with Avatar, as I saw with a couple different Tim Burton films, these guys are offering the opportunity for theaters and filmmakers to work with them and integrate smells into movies, which, oh my gosh, I wish that when I'd gone to see Ratatouille, it had this tech. It's not a small thing. I, I thought that it would be just kind of a gimmick, kind of cool, neat. We've wanted smell o vision for like 80 years, but this is the first time it's been so targeted and so quickly distributed and, and so accurate that I want it now. I know that the idea is, is that because one of these units covers about 15 square meters, they're meant to be daisy chained so that if you have a big theater, a big room, you can fit 10 smells in one device and then you can maneuver them throughout the space. And you can take that source of media and connect it to multiple of these devices. In the 17 or 18 smells I smelled, I don't think there was one where I said, that's not right. The apple smelled like apple. The rain smelled like rain. And while I've loved playing with this stuff, you know, even before these guys approached me, I've used other units similar to this. But this is the first time I've actually walked away thinking, perfect. And I'm glad they sent it to me. I love playing with this new tech. If you have an iPhone and you're on iOS, there's an app that can link to this device so that you can use voice activated commands. You can tell it to output the smell of cheese. Click a button and tell it to output bacon. And so if you had it in you to where you wanted to play with this and really experiment with different smells on the fly quickly to kind of get a grasp for, you know, how quickly this thing outputs and what it can do, that's another way of going about it. Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and like this video. If you want to get a hold of these guys, their website will be linked down below. Thank you again to them for sponsoring this episode. You guys are watching Bringhurst VR. Godspeed.